Working with the title block in assemblies is almost the same as working with parts. However, now we need to add the custom properties to the assembly level. Additionally, the custom properties of the parts now show up in the bill of materials. To get started, let's go ahead and open up 20.4. You can see I already have my bill of materials and balloons here, but what we're missing is the title block information. We don't have a title, we don't have a drawing number, revision, drawn by, checked by, any of that information is all missing. Now what I could do is I come up here to the notes, click on that, and come down here and start adding notes to my title block, but that's really not what you wanna be doing. Because what happens is that those notes only stay with this one drawing. I wanna go back and actually change the custom properties of the part. That way anytime I use that part or that assembly, in another assembly, it automatically propagate through to the bill of materials and it'll automatically propagate through to the title block. So let's go ahead and go back to that assembly, custom properties, and add those in. Come up here, grab the assembly, click on it, click on open assembly, and come up here to custom properties. Click on the first one, I wanna click on description, and call it block frame. And the next one down here is gonna be part number, this is gonna be called 2.0. Come down to the next one here and then choose revision, it's gonna be revision A. Click on here, come down to Drawn By. I'm going to type in G Corbett. And you continue on with this as needed to fill out all those properties. And that's all I really need for this point in the game. So I'm going to click on OK and click on Save. Now come back over here to the sheet, and these properties should automatically have filled out in the title block, and they have. So you see we've got a description, we've got a part number, we have a revision. We have my name up here, and if I were to fill out even more of these, like material and finish, those would show up here as well. So it's a great way to get all that information in, and then again, if you're going to be using this sub-assembly in another higher level assembly, it's going to be in a bill of materials, you then see that information here in the bill of materials. Working with custom properties, sheet notes, and the title block can be a big job. My recommendation is to fill out the custom properties as you go and establish a part numbering system and naming convention right from the start.